Their forecasts were gearing up for a very different kind of feel for tomorrow. Even today we had the clouds, but still a very pleasant feel in the 70s. Tomorrow, though, we're looking for rain. We're looking for wind. Also a somewhat cool feel and some coastal flooding thanks to that wind. Rain, we're talking about a half inch, maybe up to two or three inches. The highest totals close to the coast, but even around New Orleans, maybe up to an inch or two. That would be great to alleviate our drought conditions or help to alleviate them. Winds pretty gusty, 40 mile per hour gusts and sustained winds near 25 miles per hour. And that could lead to about one to three feet of coastal flooding on east facing shores. I'll get into all that in more detail in a second, but I wanted to show you also tomorrow. Look at these temperatures. We're starting the day around 70 and that will be our high temperature for the day. Look at this by afternoon. We'll be in the middle 60s. It looks like with that wind, with that rain. I mean, tomorrow you could get away with a rain jacket, maybe sweaters, things like that, as it will have a cool feel in addition to the rain and wind. Right now we have the cloudy skies. We've seen these high clouds filter in temperatures around 75. Most of our spots in the 70s, a little warmer though, where there's less cloud cover off to the north. Now we're talking about our tropical outlook. The area that is going to bring us rain is right here. It has a low chance still of actually developing or organizing, but this plus eventually some moisture from what is now a category four hurricane off the coast of Mexico, Lydia. These are going to contribute to our rain that we get tomorrow and into tomorrow night. Here is our satellite enhanced satellite imagery, and you can see this one not really much going on right now. And again, organizing, developing, taking on all the tropical characteristics just doesn't look very likely, but we are expecting it still to spread rain into our area. So here it is with that surge of moisture tomorrow moving off to the east of us by tomorrow night. Now here's a little closer look so you can make plans. This is this evening. We just have still clouds. Overnight, we start to see a few showers moving in. So I pause it here at 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow. Most of the heavier rain south of our coast. But look at this greens across some of our north and south of the lake spots. This takes us to lunchtime. Any heavy rain it looks like would probably be south of I-10 or I-12 and especially right along the coast. And then models actually as of today are going a little lighter with the rain tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. It was looking like we could continue with showers and downpours into tomorrow night. Now they're kind of bringing most of the rain out by evening and night. And then by Thursday, we're looking much drier. Now note this is the surface low and part of why it's not expected to develop. It'll eventually kind of join up with this front and that'll be more of a frontal sort of system with a surface low attached. So again, kind of a messy system. But looking at our rain totals, this is the European model. Interestingly, the GFS and Euro have switched from yesterday. The Euro had less yesterday. Now it has a solid half inch to two inches or so for most of our area and maybe even close to three for the coast. The GFS actually has less now. Again, it had more yesterday, but it has maybe up to an inch for North Shore and South Shore spots and maybe one to two inches along the coast. Regardless, this is going to be some much needed rain to help with the drought. Quickly with our wind advisory tomorrow afternoon through Thursday morning, gusty winds of 40 miles per hour expected, especially south of Lake Pontchartrain. And as we know, on east facing shores, those sustained east winds push the water up on our coastline. So from Wednesday evening, to midday Thursday or Thursday afternoon, you'll notice those water levels rising one to three or so feet. Now quickly for tonight, we're just looking for temperatures dropping through the 70s, a pleasant evening with clouds, north and south lows in the 60s and a chance of rain toward daybreak. And then tomorrow, the high officially 72, but like I showed you, will be mostly in the 60s for at least the second part of the day. So kind of cool, rainy and windy tomorrow, much needed rain, and then another cold front moves in Friday to set us up for a really nice fall weekend.